What's the deal with the very first thing that I eat and or drink every morning when I wake up? Hi, in case you're new here, I'm Slick Nick, your personal keto bro. And no, I'm not a doctor, a dietitian, a nutritionist, or a personal trainer. Just some random guy in Tennessee who's approaching my 40th birthday and I have this goal of being able to fit into a size medium shirt, but yet the bottom not stick out because there's still fat on my stomach. So that's about 17% body fat that I'm working towards. So what I'm gonna look at this, and this is my, my journal, this kind of breaks down the nutritional content of everything I do. 6 a.m., when I wake up at 6 a.m., what am I consuming? So here's a breakdown of it. So I do about a quarter of this filled with water. So that's a quarter of a gallon. And then from there, I'm doing my apple cider vinegar, which I fill up a glass of water. I'm putting in two tablespoons of this. And actually, that's the nutrition. So there's that. And I'm also putting one tablespoon of some ginger juice. So yes, there are some calories in that. Of course, the whole concept is, seems uh, like a paradox, but ultimately the concept is to further my body in its fasted state because by that point it's been quite a amount of time with me eating anything because I just woke up. So uh, it seems counterproductive, but that's the concept there. Then also after I drink that, I have my coffee. This is not what I'm gonna call my keto coffee. This is just my regular coffee. Keto coffee is its own video, its own, its own thing. But for this sp specific, almost didn't say it, 6 a.m. Uh, drink that I'm having in the morning. So after I have the apple cider vinegar, I give it about five minutes and then I have my coffee. So here's what that's gonna be. It's going to be a tablespoon of this instant coffee and it's going to be a teaspoon of some MCT oil. Okay, so then that in itself, let's do a calorie breakdown of all that. So the apple cider vinegar basically has no nutrition or calories. Same thing with the lemon juice. Ginger juice, 10 calories uh, and two carbs. Coffee, three calories. The MCT oil, 65 calories and then seven grams of fat. So total, 6 a.m., here's what I'm consuming. 78 calories and seven grams of fat and three carbs. So yes, technically does that break a fast? Absolutely. But it's not as black and white of breaking a fast or not. It's a matter of what's overall going to help me further the effects of the fast, even if it means I consume technically some carbohydrates as well as some calories. So 6 a.m., 78 calories, seven grams of fat, and three carbohydrates. And I will not consume any more nutrition or calories other than water until about 11 a.m. And that's when I do my keto coffee, which I'll do its own video on that. So I'm doing a breakdown of, in essence, how I'm still under 2,000 calories a day, even though I'm not really counting calories, but just in case, how's, how's the breakdown for every time I eat? So 6 a.m. is the first thing. The next thing again would be 11 a.m. for my keto coffee. That's its own video. Your comments belong right here.